What's up? We're on a little mooch today. I got the girls. Fran ran back to get hand sanitizer or something from the car. Hi. We're walking through the woods. We're going to try to pick up some natural forks today and uh, do a little slingshot shooting in the woods. It's like a really nice day and actually it's pretty humid today, but um, in the cover of the trees, it actually feels nicer. It, for some reason. It rained last night, so I'm not sure if that has anything to do. Um, I'm, I'm actually 100% sure that's why it's super humid, but uh, I'm not sure if the rain makes it less humid under the treetops, but feels pretty good right now. Good temperature. What do you got? A big leaf. Oh, that is a humongous leaf. <laughs> no, I didn't walk on a tree. You're going to walk on the tree? Yeah. Okay, let's see. What you got? A tiny one. You got a tiny leaf. Dad's also <laughs> making a video right here. I mean, tiny leaf. And then uh, I also brought some steel cans, uh, some tin cans. I think they're made of really, really cheap steel. I'm not. I think tin is like steel and nickel or something, but I could be wrong about that. But they're magnetic either way, which is cool because I also brought some magnets and some paracord so we can hang them up and do some other things, but look for some stuff to shoot and we'll look for some forks. She's back. Clean hands. Yeah. <laughs> First thing she did when we got here was grab a pine, uh, like a green pine cone and start digging through it so she got pine tar all over her hands. <laughs> Mom got her slingshot. Oh, yeah. First time shooting the sparrow today out in a mooch. And she's got the .5 falcon bands on there, cut for her, so they're they're extra short because the falcon bands are super stretchy. But we're gonna be shooting the same ammo today, so we'll see how we get on with that eight mil. Three shots, one, two, three balloons. Mama, I wanna shoot. Mama, I wanna shoot. Hold on. Two. Oh, I hit it, but I it didn't see. pop. <laughs> Damn it. Last time. Now you die. There it is. So we got a new target style. We got one of these little um, neodymium magnets on a string and then you use a tin can and it sticks to it. Look at side of it. If I can get it, magic number three. Yes! Yes! You hear that ding? <laughs> Touch it. Touch it, baby. Okay, 20 paces, that's it. Yes!
It was close. Oh, that was very close. I blame that on this way. <laughs> <laughs> You just gotta shoot how you normally shoot. Don't change stuff up. Oh shit. Yes! yes. Nice. So what we got going two on? Two align. We got two cans here. And we got the paracord align. So we gotta shoot the can until and you can't move forward with your feet. Okay. So you gotta shoot the can until it crosses the line. First one across the line with their can wins. Ah, uh, okay. Scooch back, Mila. Can you see both cans? And both of you guys, and Mila. Okay, you ready? Go. Little mom's is like off the track. Yeah, you probably want to move way over, way over, right? Because, yeah, so then it goes back into the middle. Ooh, neck and neck right now. It's about tied. Hold on. off the grass. It's not rolling too well. Daddy's is in the lead. They move back. Oh, go, baby, go! Shoot into some of the S1 frame a little bit. A little bit lighter, uh, precise 0.6 bands with the. Fowler Mischief Chimera pouches. And I actually said this before in another video, but that like canvas material is amazing for grip. And the second you want to release it, it's released. It's awesome. Uh, it's not slick at all. It's very grippy, even when it's pretty humid out here today. Um, and yeah, I really like it. It it's shooting. I'm shooting eight mil today, and it's it's shooting those eight mil great. But I can also fit a 9.5 in there, which is my preferred ammo, without any kind of trouble. It's a little bit smaller pouch than what I'm used to, um, just lengthwise, but uh, it's fitting both the both those two ammunitions pretty nicely, so I'll probably keep using it. Yep. 
Smashed it. 